Um, I have a question about uh, your upcoming project on Stephen King's It. Um, I was wondering what initially attracted to you to that project. Is it just that you um, had seen it you know, when you were younger and liked it? Um, are you trying to move towards more horror and science fiction? Um, and additionally, uh, how closely will it, it adhere to the book and the original work? Um, it's, well, <laughs> I can't give away too much. But I would say in terms of the, the, the choice, uh, someone asked earlier about the themes. I mean, I guess the only continuing thing is uh, that children die in all my films. <laughs> so if you want to consider the way Pennywise sort of like took off children for a while and then finished with this giant spectacle of, of, of death and mayhem, then I guess it would sort of cap off my children dying series of films. <laughs> and hopefully after that, you know, I'll move into much more pleasant. Mr. Seamus, Carrie Song, over here. Oh, hello. Hello. Uh, my question goes back to an earlier topic in the conversation about getting into the shared consciousness of your crew so that you're in the same place, creating the ease of the, the shoot. And one, uh, one, crew, one person that I never hear anyone talk much about is the production designer. And I wanted to know what kind of relationship you like to have with your production designer. Is there a unifying metaphor that you work on? Um, the mise en scène, what is it, what is it that, uh, how do you like to work scene by scene, the only pre-production that the, creates the, that feeling? I, I love the production designers part of uh, the sort of pre-production office, usually, like, uh, across the board, because all the photographs are up on the wall, every bit of like potential reference, references that you've never even thought of before, because they've just, they've combed images from all over the place, on the wall for a set, for a scene, for a character, 